now we are starting chapter 2 that is arts of the indus valley the arts of the indus valley civilization emerged during the second half of the third millennium bc so the arts include sculpture seals pottery gold jewelry terracotta figures the artist might have had fine artistic sensibilities and vivid imagination their delineation of human and animal figures was highly realistic in nature the anatomical details included in them was unique. In the case of terracotta art, the modeling of animal figures was done in an extremely careful manner. The two main sites of the Indus Valley civilization are Harappa in the north, Mohenjadaro in the south. So they showcase one of the best examples of civic planning and highly developed drainage system, markets, storage facilities, offices, public bars etc. arranged in a grid-like pattern. So, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are situated in Pakistan and the important sites excavated in India are Lothal and Dolavira in Gujarat, Rakigari in Haryana, Ropar in the Punjab, Kali Bangan and Balatar in Rajasthan. So, the stone, bronze or terracotta found in Harappan sites are not abandoned but refined. So, the stone statutories found at Harappa and Mohenjadaro are excellent examples of handling three-dimensional volumes. In stone are two male figures. One is a torso in red sandstone and other is a bust of a bearded man in stereotype. So the figure of a bearded man is interpreted as a priest, is draped in a shawl. So under the right arm and covering the left shoulder. So it is decorated with trifoil patterns. Eyes are little elongated and half closed as in meditative concentration. Nose is well formed and of medium size and mouth is of average size with a close cut moustache and a short beard and whiskers. Ears resemble double shells with a double shells with a hole in the middle and Hair is parted in the middle and plain woven fillet is passed round the head. This is the plain woven fillet. An armlet is worn on the right hand, holes around the neck suggest a necklace. So bronze casting. The art of bronze casting was practiced on a wide scale by Harappans. So it is a lost wax technique in which the wax figures are first covered in a coating of clay and allowed to dry. Then wax is heated and the molten wax was drained out through a tiny hole made in, the, made in the clay cover. Then the hollow mold was then filled with molten metal which took the original shape of the object. Once the metal cooled, the clay cover was completely removed. So in bronze we find human as well as animal figures and a girl, girl popularly titled dancing girl and a buffalo with its uplifted head back and sweeping horns and it and the goat are of artistic merit so the copper dog and bird of lothar and bronze figure of bull from kalibanga are in no way inferior to the human figures of copper and bronze from harappa and mohenjadaro so metal casting appears to be a continuous tradition. The late Harappan and Charcolithic sites like Daimabad in Maharashtra yielded excellent examples of metal cast sculptures. So the mainly consists of human and animal figures. So it shows how the tradition of figure sculpture continued through the down the ages. So terracotta. So the terracotta representations of human form are crude in the Indus Valley. They are more realistic in Gujarat sites and Kalibanga. So the most important among the Indus figures are those representing the mother goddess. In terracotta, we find bearded males with coiled hair, their posture rigidly upright, legs slightly apart and arms parallel to the side of the body. The repetition of this figure would suggest that he was a deity. And terracotta mask of a horned deity has also been found. Toy carts with wheels, whistles, rattles, birds and animals, gamesmen and this were also rendered in terracotta. Seals. So the thousands of seals made of stereotype and occasionally of a gate, shirt, copper, fans and terracotta with beautiful figurines of 
animals such as unicorn bull rhinoceros tiger elephant bison goat buffalo etc so the realistic rendering of these animals in various modes is remarkable the purpose of producing seals was mainly commercial uh, they are used as amulets perhaps as modern day identity cards the standard harappan seal was a square plate 2 into 2 square inches usually made from soft river stone stateite every seal is engraved in a pictographic script which is yet to be deciphered some seals have also been found in gold and ivory they all bear a great variety of motifs mostly animals including those of the bull with or without hump elephant tiger goat and also monsters sometimes trees or human figures were also depicted the most remarkable seal is the one depicted with a figure in the center and animals around this is identified as pasupati seal some identify it as a female deity it is a human figure seated cross legged elephant and tiger to the right side and rhinoceros and buffalo so elephant rhino to the right side and the rhinoceros and buffalo to the left and antelopes are shown below the sea so they are dated between 2500 and 1500 bc and were found in considerable numbers in the ancient city of mohenjo-daro in the indus valley so these animals are carved in intaglio on their surfaces and squares square or rectangular copper tablets with animal or human figure on one side and inscription on other or an inscription on both sides have also been found so the figurine figures and signs are carefully cut with a burin these copper tablets appear to have been amulets and the inscriptions on the copper tablets seem to be associated with the animals portrayed on them so pottery a large variety of pottery it helps us to understand the gradual evolution of various design motifs as employed in different shapes and styles so indus valley pottery chiefly consists of wheel made wares so mostly wheel made wares very few being handmade and plain pottery is more common it generally made up of red clay without with or without a fine red or gray slip and it includes knobbed ware ornamented with rows of knobs and the black painted way where has a fine coating of red slip on which geometrical or animal designs are executed in glossy black paint so the polychrome pottery is rare and comprises of small vases decorated with geometric patterns in red black green rarely white and yellow incised ware is rare and incised decoration was confined to the bases of pans and to the dishes of offering stands and perforated pottery with large hole at bottom and small holes over the wall and was probably used for straining liquor pottery for household purposes is found in many shapes and sizes straight and angular shapes are an exception while graceful curves are the rule miniature vessels less than half an inch are marvelously crafted as to evoke admiration so these are used for straining liquor next beads and ornaments the harappan men and women decorated themselves with a large variety of ornaments ranging from precious metals and gem stones to bone and baked clay while necklaces fillets armlets and finger rings were commonly worn by both sexes women wore girdle, girdles earrings anklets hoards of jewelry found at mohenjo-daro and lothal include necklaces of gold and semi precious stones copper bracelets and beads gold earrings and head ornaments pendants pendants and buttons and beads of stated and gem stones so these ornaments are well crafted and pamana in haryana where dead bodies are were buried with ornaments and patras discovered at chenudaro and lothal so beads were made up of cornelian amethyst jasper crystal quartz stated turquoise lapis lazuli etc metals like copper bronze gold shell pans and terracotta or burnt clay were also used for manufacturing beads the beads are in various shapes 
disc shaped cylindrical spherical barrel shaped and segmented some beads were made of two or more stones cemented together some of the stone with gold cover some were decorated by incising or painting great technical skill has been displayed in the manufacturing of these beads so harappan people also made brilliantly naturalistic models of animals especially monkeys and squirrels used as pinheads and beads so spindles and spindle wools are found in large numbers so the spinning of cotton and wool was very common rich and poor practice spinning so the wools are made up of expensive fibers and also of cheap pottery and shells and there were two separate pieces of attire similar to that of dhoti and shawl and people of indus valley were conscious of fashion different hairstyles were in vogue and wearing of beard was popular cinnabar was used as cosmetic and face paint lipstick and eyeliner so some stone structural remains were found at dolaivara so this shows how the indus valley people used stone in construction the artists are extremely skilled in a variety of crafts especially metal casting stone carving painting pottery and making terracotta images using simplified motifs of animals plants and birds dancing girl this is one of the best known artifacts from the indus valley it is approximately 4 inch high copper figure of a dancing figure found in mohenjodaro where a girl depicts long hair tied in a bun bangles over left arm bracelet and an amulet or bangle adorn her right arm cowrie shell necklace right hand over on her hip and left hand clasped in a traditional indian dance gesture large eyes and flat nose the figure is full of expression and bodily vigor so the bronze figure from mohenjodaro depicts the massiveness of bull and fury of the charge it is standing with third head turn to the right and caught around the neck male tons male torso it is a red sandstone figure socket holes in the neck neck and shoulder for the attachment of head and arms shoulders are well baked abdomen slightly prominent and painted earthen jar found in mohenjodaro the shape was manipulated by the pressure of crafty fingers of the potter it was painted with black color high polishing was done as a finishing touch the motifs are of vegetal and geometric forms and designs are simple with a tendency towards abstraction so mother goddess it is a crude standing female adorned with necklaces hanging hanging over prominent breasts and wearing a loin cloth and a girdle fan shaped headdress in cup like projection on each side pellet eyes beaked nose are very crude and mouth is indicated by a slit thank you